In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the Finocetto test or jump sign to assess for posterior meniscus tears in the knee. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi and welcome back to Physio Tutors. The incidence of meniscus tears is estimated to be 61 per 100,000 in a general population and approximately one third of them are sports related. While traumatic tears often occur in the menisci periphery and are seen in patients younger than 30, more complex and degenerative patterns tend to occur in older adults. Shri et al. in the year 2010 argue that the physical examination for meniscal tears is different than diagnostic tests, as meniscal tears are heterogeneous in nature, for example, posterior versus anterior tears. Therefore, the authors reason that sensitivity and specificity values should not be relied on for meniscus injuries, but the choice of physical tests should rather be based on the logic underlying how different tests stress different parts of the meniscus. Despite the limitations we just mentioned, the Finocetto test has not been validated by any diagnostic studies yet anyways. For this reason, the clinical value is unknown. To perform the Finocetto test or jump sign, the patient's knee is brought to 130 to 140 degrees of flexion and the position is fixated by the examiner. Similar to the anterior draw test in the knee, the examiner pulls the tibia ventrally, in this case in a more aggressive manner than with the draw test. This test is positive if the examiner feels a jump as the torn posterior horn of the meniscus is displaced anterior to the tibiofemoral point of contact. The jump is rarely audible or visible and does not have to be painful necessarily. Be aware that laxity associated with an ACL or PCL tear is not considered a positive test and that this test can also be positive in case of loose bodies or a congenital discoid meniscus. All right, this was our video on the Finocetto test or jump sign. If you want to learn another test for the posterior horn of the meniscus, watch our video on a McMurray test. If you are interested in more content from us, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, or on our website, physiotutors.com. This was Kai for Physiotutors. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.